Hello and welcome back. Guys, the shad are running in downtown Richmond, which gives us a lot of really fun fishing. You can keep the hickory shads this year. You cannot keep the American, the bigger ones. But I'm going to show you guys the rig we're using coming up. I'm going to show you how to tie it, how to fish for these shads, some different methods, and also some really great fishing coming up in the next video. That will be linked to in the cards up there. So give me that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and the bell icon so you don't miss any videos. Check this out. All right, so this video is about how to tie this shad rig. We're going to get to the fishing in the next video, which I'll link to in the cards up above. This rig is very simple to tie. We're going to start with a surgeon's loop at the top, and I'm going to show you how to do this. Down about a foot and a half or so, we have a shad dart. You can pre-tie these with different size shad darts, different colors, whatever, so you can have several of them ready to go when you go fishing and a little tiny gold shad spoon on the bottom. These come in yellow and green and all kinds of different colors, black and several different sizes, but I find a little gold one seems to work best. Now I'll show you how to tie this rig. I'm gonna go ahead and unhook this one so I can lay it out on the table for you to see a little better. So you'll see why I'm gonna use the rope here in a moment. This is very difficult to see on this table. But basically, that's what it looks like going through the water. The spoon spins, the little shad dart darts around, and gives it a whole lot of action. And it is very, very simple to tie. All right, so tying these rigs is really very simple. Pretend this is the eye of our shad dart. Pass your line through and position it on the line that you've got to where you're going to be right about where you want that shad dart to be hanging off of your leader. And then we're going to tie a surgeon's loop. Pull you off enough line. Again, this is pretty heavy rope, so a little bit bigger version, obviously. So pull off the line that you're going to want doubled up and go through it like three half hitches. One, two, get through there, three. And then when you pull that down, you'll have a loop that that bait is riding off of, which works great. So this would be your shad dart hanging out here. Off the other end of the line, you're going to use just a regular fisherman's knot, an improved cinch knot, to tie your spoon on that end. And the other end, we'll do another surgeon's loop to connect to the swivel. So assuming this is the end that you're going to attach your swivel to, this knot's, again, very simple surgeon's loop. You double up your line, and you tie it like a triple half hitch. You go around like that, and up through it three times. One, two, three. And then pull that down. And this will be the loop that you connect your swivel to. Obviously, it'll look a lot better with fishing line than a piece of rope. So that's where your swivel hooks up. Very simple. Now, pretend this is the spoon in case you don't know how to tie a cinch knot. You simply would go through the eye of your spoon and wrap this line around six times. One, two, three. And I'm not going to go all six because this heavy rope won't let me. So go around that six times, then pass that through this loop there. Very simple and the tagging goes through the loop you just created, and then everything gets pulled down tight. That is your improved cinch knot. And this is a very strong knot. That's all you need to tie your spoon at the other end of this rig. Very simple. All right, give you one more quick look at that. This is the surgeon's loop that's tied right up at the end for the swivel to connect. Another surgeon's loop for our shad dart and our spoon on an improved cinch knot. Hopefully that focused well. Now that we got that straight, the next video linked up in the cards up there is fishing with this rig and how great this thing works. Hit that subscribe button down there. Give me that thumbs up like button and don't forget the bell icon so you don't miss any videos. Check the next video out. We'll see you there.